I mean, no more than usual. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I hope they can hear us. It'd be real awkward if they couldn't hear us. I can hear myself somehow. There it is. So let's give another moment here and then we'll get back into it. But welcome everyone. Thanks for coming back. There. Oh. Some suspense. We'll build the suspense. All right. Are you guys ready or are you guys still fucking about? <laughs> Jackie, you ready? <laughs> Don't sound so excited. Uh. Mm. You got some performance anxiety? Me too. That's why I'm stalling getting started. I know, unheard of. Oh, I forgot to get high before this, too. You don't hear them, Jolene? All right. Uh, oh, that's why. I don't. <laughs> uh, just got to make it so they can hear you guys. That's probably important, huh? Yeah, I would think oh, so. Maybe. Now, now, they can be, now they can hear you. For better or worse. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Oh, it's great God. to meet you. <laughs> right, let's Is that your Matt character's voice? Because that would be no. amazing. <laughs> it's not. I need to play a character that's just straight evil so I could do that. It'd be great. Hello. Why does he have to, why does he have to be evil? You just have a scary voice and not be evil. Yeah. That is true. I think he's really like a nice you're cleric. First, sounds you're like evil, that. but you have a really high squeaky voice. Hey, how'd you know what the big bad's gonna be this campaign? <laughs> I'm practicing that voice for months, not to change it. <laughs> Why do you think it took us long to get back? I've been practicing the high squeaky voice. Ah. Uh, All right. Well, somebody's got to give rec competition for the voice acting skills. Yeah, it's not going to be me. <laughs> All right, let me just make one more change in my end real quick, and I think I'll be ready to get started. Good. I just need a create separate create stream marker button. There we go. All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to Roll 4. It is a whole new campaign. We took too long off. You know, kind of forgot where we were, lost last couple of sessions. So we're back with a new crew of Jackie. Hello. Matt. Hello. Zach. Hello. And Josh, me, the DM, your God. Everyone bow down, motherfuckers. All right, I'm out. <laughs> um, but yeah, Ask we are nightly. back. God. <laughs> bow for me, please. <laughs> Will you, Daddy? I'll bow for you. A little too sexual. Sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, let us role play a little bit fans, first, at least. Okay. That was the role play. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, sorry. This has already gone off the rails. All right, and that's a wrap for this session. We are done, and we are never coming back. Um, it is totally on brand for us, though, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty par for the course. I am happy that I ruined another campaign. You are welcome. <laughs> we, we weren't even doing it five minutes. Duh. <laughs> yeah, we've been no live time. for 15, but we've <laughs> only been talking for five. 
and only three of those has been the game, <laughs> and that's already ruined everything. Anywho, sounds about right. Yep. Um, we are back. Um, same world, different continent, different characters. Wreck will return. Do not worry. He's just a lazy piece of shit. Wreck, if you watch this, you're a lazy piece of shit. Okay. Cool. But we yeah, love you're a piece of shit. Yeah. I I don't I don't agree with that statement. Just so <laughs> all I can say is is I remember we walked for how long and there was it was there after all. That's all he needs to know. Yeah, there was a dispensary there. Um, anywho, he's never gonna watch this. No. Um, he's not in it. Why would he? Um, I can get such a mean Discord message from him tomorrow. God damn. Um, but anyways, um, we are starting in the town of Sessi. Um, it's a small town, kind of a circular outline or circular city layout, um, with the, the market at the dead center of town and houses and um stuff sprawling out from there it's right on the edge of relentless highlands and the stonewood forest um it's a smaller town where um or it used to be a smaller town where people go to get away from the um still be part of the empire but um get away from like the stricter rules of the empire uh you guys are so fucking distracting my god <laughs> I'd like oh, to point I out I'm not doing a single thing. I appreciate you, Zach. Thank you. And that includes writing my backstory. <laughs> you really fucking expect <laughs> anything less. Um, goddamn. But yeah, we are in this town of Sese. 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 I'll get there eventually. I only made the world. I don't know how to say any of the names. Um, Thank you. Uh, shout out to a random name generator. Yeah, exactly. Um... <laughs> Right on the edge of the Rentless Highlands, which is um, kind of like a mixture. It's a mountain range with deep valleys, trenches cut between them from the strong rainstorms of the stormy season um, of Creek Greenfall. Uh, the Stonewood Forest is the dividing line of between the Holash Empire and the BUU Coalition. There have been it's been they've been at war off and on for about 300 years at this point. Um it, you just come out of calm time of the war and going into a much more dramatic um, spiking um, conflict. Um, the fighting is mostly taking place in the woods, occasionally pushing through to the nearby towns and small villages. Um, so far, your town has avoided any direct conflict, but the army is staging from Sese. Um, so it's not quite as quiet of a town as it used to be. And we will start with Jackie. Um, it is morning. Um, Kiara, you wake up. Um, you hear your parents talking downstairs. Um, you know, and you just kind of hear them in the distance talking. Um, sounds a little heated, but normal kind of. Not not normal, but you know, they're they're having discussion in the morning, and you smell some um, food being cooked. Um, fresh vegetables and bacon and the such for breakfast as you wake. Yeah. What would you like to do? I would like to go back to sleep. But <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll wake up. Okay. Um, you know, just get up and stretch. Hear the commotion okay. going on downstairs. And I think hmm, should probably get dressed and go investigate. All right. So then I do that. You head downstairs. Um, your parents are sitting at the table. Um, they're talking about um, the path carry. Um, your mom's saying, mm -hmm. "Man, we just had such a hard time recently getting." what we need and helping people it's 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 frustrating and your dad's just i know but you know what what, what can we do about it? it's kind of what it is not much we can really we can do about this as you walk down i go oh hi sweetie hey. did you sleep well yeah all right yeah. Toss well, that's good a little bit but i did okay what's Everything okay here? Yeah, we're just trying to figure out how to keep the store running, you know, with all the 
military coming through, it's been hard to keep stock of everything, basically. Yeah. Um, so it's just a little stressful. Well, maybe I need to make a little run for supplies. Yeah, if you'd be able to do that today, that would be awesome. Sure. Sweet. All right. Um, your sister went out already. She's um, said she's going to go gather some material as well, some supplies. Um, but okay. we haven't seen her back yet. She's been out for about an hour, so we can go find her out there, help her. To go look for her, keep an yeah. eye out. Yeah, that would be great if you could do that. What are the twins up to? Uh, they haven't come down yet. They're still, you know, Probably being lazy. Still hung over from being out last night. You know, yeah, that's wouldn't be the first time now, would it? No. If you want to go wake him up, otherwise you can. We'll we'll get him in a bit. <laughs> Tempting, but I'll I'll go ahead and um head out. Okay. As you leave your house. Um, you wander out into the village. There's more mail. There's more um, soldiers here than there has been in the past couple of days. They're kind of stocking up, you know, seemingly get ready for an assault, um, of some sort. Um, they're all walk-ins. They're straight formations. Um, you step out and they kind of like push you off to the side, like because you unintentionally step in front of them. They kind of shove you back into the house as they walk by, Excuse and you have to leave. Um, they just stomp off and head into head downtown towards the main city center. Um, you just going out into the woods to look for stuff, or where are you where are you heading? Yeah, we'll just go wander off to my favorite quiet spot in the woods for a bit. See All right, what kind of things I can find. Sounds good. While you do that, we will cut over to Nuvar. Novar. Um, yes. It's early morning, um, eight nine o'clock. What are what are you up to, right now? I am probably haggling, um, with some uh, magic uh, magic dealer. Okay. Um, I imagine there's in the market in town. There's someone who's a magic mm -hmm. seller. Yep. So where did, where did you get these uh these trinkets from? Did who sold them to you? Oh, I, uh, I I just traded for them. Do you, do you know where they came about here? Did they come from east, west? I would assume they came from the west. I got them off of a soldier, traded them a couple uh, potions. Okay, okay. Hmm. How how much for how much for it? Uh, those there, say forty gold. Okay, okay. Would you do 35? Uh, I mean, I, I did give away two healing potions for him, so in theory it's worth 100. Were, well, were they good quality healing potions? Were they made by someone who, you know, knew what they were doing? Or were they kind of... He kind of gets, like, a smile on his face, which is, like, you would know is, like, the, the like, I am full of shit kind of smile. Mm -hmm. But it, um, he's like, I only have the best, so... High okay, quality, of course. Let's say you didn't have the best. Just hypothetically, you don't have the best wares. But I'm still trying to purchase this item off you. It mm -hmm. just makes sense to me. You know, maybe we could just work out something 35 gold. Roll me a persuasion check. Oh, shit. How do I... uh, oh. You can open up your character sheet to do it. Otherwise, um, if you go to the chat page, there's dice down the bottom. Uh, it was persuasion, right? Yep. Should I hit normal? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think I can let it go for thirty-five. I'm gonna need at least forty. All right. You know, just just forget it then. But you said it was from the West. a soldier sold this to you. Yeah, trade. All right. And I'll, I'll stumble. I'll stumble off. Okay. He kind of um, just goes to the next guy and is like, give it to you for 15. <laughs> uh. And then um, 
Yeah, so you move on. Bip, 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 bip. What are you doing right now? Um, bip, bip is uh in his uh tavern room. I forget at which tavern. What what's that tavern's name? The early B. No. Yep. Yeah, because they, they yep. And he's putting on his big floppy hat and uh, his uh, grabbing his his stick. And like putting on his robes and is getting ready to walk out the door because he slept in a little later than he wanted to. But he's ready for the day and he's walking down, like oh, leaving his his room. Okay. Um, he hears in his head, "You lazy piece of shit! You were supposed to get up at sun up." Me lazy? No, people be paint lazy. You lazy. You can't even move without me holding you. You're the one who slept in. I was up all night keeping watch. You don't sleep. Exactly. Up all night. That's that's not how any of this works. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to keep watch. You're an asshole. You know that? I am not an asshole. I am a stick. It's, it's, same thing. You can still be an asshole and be a stick. I am not an asshole. I am a stick. Ah, whatever. He's going to walk downstairs. All right, you um, enter the main tavern area. Um, the woman who runs it is setting up uh, or serving a couple people right now. Um, you're able to grab a table if you'd like, or you can head out. Oh, he's going to go set up at the bar. Uh, okay. there's, there's like a bar. He's going to like struggle to get up on the chair. He's like, ah, yeah, no, uh, uh, ah, sets the stick across his lap and just kind of puts his hands, like stretches his hands all the way out to put his hands on Put me on up on the bar. Of... I cannot see anything other than your dick down here. It is a good, it's a good sight. You just shut up down there. It is not much of a sight, if I'm being honest. She... He's going to take the stick and put him on the floor. Hey, 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 no, pick me up. Shut up down there. Pick me up. Uh, Whenever you're ready, Miss Bar, bar Lady. Uh, she walks over to you. Oh, what what can I get you today? Do you, uh, have any flies? Uh, sorry, we are, uh, we're, we're fresh out of flies. That's right, you were out of them last night. Bip, bip, bip remembers. Uh, whatever you have for, uh, so just a little bit of sustenance would be grand. Okay, um, she, like, Gives you a weird look, knowing that you guys have had basically the same issue the last, the previous night. Um, walks behind the kitchen and just like, you hear like a bunch of chopping and then like a, some stirring sounds like, and she brings out this like, this bowl of basically slop and sets it down in front of you. I hope this is to your liking. I don't know if that's coming through on the mic, but... No. Oh, uh, he's sniffing it. He's giving it a good old sniff to... Ah, uh, hmm. It reminds me to be from home. It will do wonderful. What do I owe you? Uh... Silver is enough for that, I suppose. I don't even know where the hell my money is. <laughs> I don't even know if I have a silver. <laughs> you... Currency. It doesn't say anything. Um... I think we you said can give I yourself to... ten gold or whatever. Yeah, I think we want to divide it up. Uh, there's ten silver and a gold, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, he'll give her a, a silver and just he doesn't know the concept of silverware, so he just like puts his face in the bowl and just starts going to town. <laughs> she just sighs and walks away. Um, about this time. Kiara, you reach the woods and are looking around at these massive pine trees um, reaching 150, 200, 300 at the top feet tall um, as you walk through them and you can scavenge the um, forest. Will you make a um, nature check for me, please? Mm -hmm. Survival? Whichever one you prefer. Uh, you can do it with advantage because you've done this many, many times. Okay. Do I just like? It's on your character sheet. Yeah. 
with advantage. Yep. That right? <laughs> yeah, that worked. Fucking one. Wait, no. Uh, 17. 18 total. Okay. So, you know, up. it takes you a little bit of time to like get out to like spots that haven't been picked over, but you're able to find a bunch, like a, a new section of, um, you know, the roots and the, the, um, flowers and stuff that, that have the healing properties that, you know, your parents are looking for. And you're able to get like a pretty decent Art. size, like you're able to fill like your bag up with it. Um, about time, that time you hear, um, Another voice. Kiara, is, is that you? Yeah. It's your sister. She comes running up oh. to you. Kalia, what are hey. you doing? I was just Hi. looking for... Hi. Uh, <laughs> good morning. I was just looking for these, but looks like you found it. Yeah. You know, just... Lucky, I guess. Yeah. You, I mean, hey, you, you got more than me, so... You didn't do too bad. I mean, she, like, kind of looks at, like, her, like, a few flowers that are there. She's like, I mean, it's not an armful like you got there. It's just a handful, I guess. It's fine. What made you get up so early anyway? Oh, um. Mom and Dad were just talking real loud this morning, so. I, yeah. They woke me up. And, yeah, I think they're just stressed about, you know, the army being around. Yeah. Which is, I mean, they understandable. Rude yeah. Lunch, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, they were causing issues at the tavern last night, but. Really? I, I don't think anything too serious came of it, hopefully. Hopefully not. Yeah, but, um. Yeah, um. Well, I think I have enough supplies okay, for us for. For a little while, I guess we could probably start heading back now. Sounds good. I, I'm just, just, I'm just gonna grab a little bit more. I'll, I'll be right behind you. Sure. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fine. You know, we're gonna need it anyways, either whether I get today or tomorrow. So I'm out here, may as well. Okay. Just save myself the trip. Well, keep your eyes and ears open. Mm hmm You too. Mm hmm Uh, she wanders off, um, back into the woods, out of view, as you journey back into town. Um, as you approach town, you hear the sound of, like, yelling and rustling in the woods. Oh boy. Um, do you approach, or do you try to avoid it? Um, yeah, I'm curious. I'm going to approach. Okay. You, um, just walk up, or... Maybe can, you can try to be... be stealthy about it. All right. Um, give me a stealth roll, then. <laughs> as you're walking up and um you get closer and like you're you're being quiet you're being sneaky and as you get close you trip and on a, a stick on the ground that you you weren't you didn't see and it snaps and you like fall but you like you catch yourself halfway spilling some of your your um, um wild um goods that you found um as you pick it up uh, a soldier walks up to you Miss, what are you doing out in these woods? I'm just foraging. Did you not hear the decree this morning? No. What decree? No civilians allowed in the woods. There's been too many attacks. Really? Attacks yes. from who? The BUU coalition has been getting close. Oh, wonderful. Well, I haven't, I haven't noticed anything. That's good. Get back to town or I'll have to lock you up for trying to run away. Escape okay. the, the rules. Just let me gather my things. I'll be on my way. Okay. As you look behind him, as you gather, there's um, a, a body on the ground, bloodied, um, wearing... Uh, military gear, but not of that of the Empire, um, laying broken on the ground, um, still breathing slightly, um, but looking rough as hell. And um, two two of the soldiers kind of like lock off the body as you gather your stuff, and he 
as you like get up, he kind of pushes you away. All right, back to town with you. Wait, does 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 that man need any aid? He's fine. Do not worry. Look fine. He was here trying to hurt people, and we took care of it. Now move along. Okay. All right, I'm going. All right. You head back towards town. Yeah. Okay. Navar, Naval, Naval, Navar, Nolvar, Nolvar. I'll get there eventually. I'm learning these still, guys. Stick okay. with me. Okay. Is there any English language still? Yeah, it's been a while. Um, so you, you're still in the um market area. Yeah. Are there any soldiers like like that seem like off duty or just chilling? Um, there's a lot of soldiers here. Some of them are, most of them are probably on duty, um, in uniform, but not like patrolling or anything. Just kind of like. Yeah, ones that don't look busy. I'm going to approach. Yeah. At least one of them. Okay. Um, there's a group of about, uh, two or three, um, depend, like there's like two that are like consistently there and like one or one person keeps coming in and out of the group. Like they'll walk up to talk to them for a bit, walk off. Okay. You want to approach them. Yeah. Okay. Hello, hello, gentlemen. How are you all doing today? Uh, we're well. How, how about yourself? I'm all right. I have a quick question for you. That stand over there, they're selling this magical trinket, and he said about he bought it off a soldier here. I was wondering if it, you maybe know who he may have gotten that from. Uh, to get my drift, right. where that soldier may have gotten that trinket, because it's quite a magical trinket. I mean, most of the stuff we we, we trade, uh, we get from war spoils. Okay. All right. And it wasn't yeah. any of you that traded with them, right? I, I mean, it could have been. We all frequently are trading stuff. Oh, do you? And... Are you a, a magic practitioner? Or... No, no, no. We're we're not. We just, you know, we find stuff, aren't really sure what it's worth, and trade okay. it to get okay. some value for them, kind okay. of thing. Yeah. All right. Thanks for your help. And I'll um, mm. scuffle off. Okay. Um, they can't I'll, look at each other like, what the fuck is that about? I'll <laughs> continue just looking around um, the market for different uh, magical artifacts or items right. that people are selling. Uh, give me a perception check. I need to catch my fancy. Yeah. All right, um, seventeen. You're um, after walking around for a couple minutes. You see a guy who um, is kind of in the back corner of the market. Um, he's got a couple um, rings on his um, tabletop, um, but behind him, he's got this like um, golden shield that catches your eye um, as it kind of like has like a pulsing glow emanating from it. All right, I'll go up and uh, talk with him. Oh, uh, uh, hey there. Hi, hi. Um, I have some questions about your wares. Do you have anything um magical? I mean, it, it's all magical. All he magical. Gest- all right. Yeah, he gestures to the, the table. All yeah, right. Uh, are you looking for something in particular there? I will just um. I'll take like. I'm not going to answer his question. I'm just going to be looking. Um, and I'm looking for anything that may look like um. I guess necrotic in any way, okay. like skulls um, and stuff like that, and you know, yeah, signs with your of necromancy, with your seventeen perception check, um, one of the rings itself, um, has like this like kind of like black like smoke energy like, um, rippling around it and like circling around it, and um, the table around it has kind of had the color drained from it. Okay, I uh, I'll point to that one. So oh. this this one here, how much how much would that one cost me? Oh, well, uh, I got that one pretty cheap. I haven't been able to get to do anything other than that. Uh, ten gold. Ten gold. All right. Uh, would you do eight? Oh, I I suppose I could do eight. All right, I'll do eight for you. Okay. Uh, there you go. He hands it to you. All right, Hopefully you can get to work. I Like I said, like I've had people look at it and haven't been able to figure anything out for it. I'll, give it, I'll give it a try. 
Okay. Uh, I and wish I'll, you luck. I'll walk away and I'll. Can I do an arcana check on it? Just. Yeah. Right away. Yeah. Give me a. Shit. Um. It's probably necrotic, but. You're not 100% sure. Like, it, it definitely has some sort of magic to it um, of the narcotic type, but you don't know what it could do or would do. Okay. All right. Um, as you're looking at that, we will go back to... Bib, 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 bib. Um, you are still snacking on your food, just finishing up. The sticks blow you. Come on, man. Just, just pick me up. What will you do if I pick you up? I will give you magical power. And? You need more than that? Well, yeah, I, I need, I need, I need help. I'd have to finish my quest, you know? I can tell you where to find true love if you pick me up. Okie dokie. <laughs> I hops off the stool, picks this, the the thing back up, and climbs back up uh, on the the stool and sets the uh, stick on the bar the bar top as he like pushes his bowl to the side that he's done with. So where where do I find it? Okay, so you start at the beginning. The beginning when of man what? meets woman. They make baby. After that baby, they will meet another baby. They will become friends. After many years, they will have their own babies. And then that's how the human population starts. He picks him up and throws <laughs> him on the ground again. <laughs> hey! Put me back. I was getting there. You needed to get to the point, stick lord. Come on now. You can't just get to the point. The journey matters too. I guess that's fair. <laughs> he like hops back <laughs> off the thing and picks him back up. So everybody else literally just saw him pick the stick up, put it on the thing, goes bah, and throws the stick back on the ground and then picks it back up and puts it back on the bar top and says, but see, I need to find true love because they will help me finish my quest. Yes. I am trying to help you with that. And at this Did point, you? Gwen comes up to you. Our, the barkeep, our, are you feeling okay? You kind of. Why do you have that stick? The the stick is the my friend. He's a good companion, and he listens like a. He listens not very well, but he listens. You talk, talk to, to a stick. He is kind of an asshole, but he he does listen. Well, he can't talk back, I suppose. If only you knew. <laughs> uh, yes, he. Uh, he just sets the stick on the the car, the, bonnet, the bar top. And it's oh, in your head, you hear it from the stick. She might be your true love. Uh Miss. Uh, what did you? You said your name was Gwen, right? Miss Gwen. Yeah. Yeah. Have you? Uh, do you have a man in your life? Um, why? Uh, just, just curious. Uh, a woman such as yourself uh, are very, uh, how do I put this? Uh, beautiful. So you need you. I was wondering if somebody you have somebody to appreciate all that you have and do I'm good <laughs> I see <laughs> sticking your head just goes <laughs> guess not he <laughs> <laughs> just like throws him back down onto the bar hey he goes that, that'll be all he, he picks him up and walks out weird fucking frog you're a fucking stick, you shit fucking asshole. Fuck you. Yeah, I get laid more than you. Yeah, on the ground, because that's where I put you. Still getting laid. Uh, you know, you're lucky I don't break you in half, you fucking asshole. <laughs> you just send that. Weak little shit. Can you try? Yeah, go for it. Give me a strength check. There we go. 
This is this is gonna go. I'm I'm the lead at these. Ah, oh. you bring it down on your knee, and it just kind of bends a little bit, and then springs back. Oh well, well. <laughs> you know you're at this you're, point. You're a lot bizarre. stricter than you look. You know that little, fucking little stick. Navar, you walk out. You're walking away from the where you just did yep. that, and you see this little frog just try and like snap the stick over his knee, <laughs> and just talk to it like. <laughs> well, I'll just glare for a second. Okay. And continue uh, looking at my ring. Do I okay. notice him glare? Uh, give me a perception check. Here we uh, go. Disadvantage because you are very enthralled with your stick. Yeah. Percep perception. Disadvantage. Heck yeah. Ten? I definitely did not try to hide it either though. So. Yeah, you look up and you just um you don't really see the glare, you just see him looking at you. As I you wave. try and break this <laughs> I like stop trying to break this thick and wave. Do you weigh with the stick hand or the non-stick hand? Uh, with the stick hand, and he doesn't realize it's the stick hand, so he waves and drops the stick. You just hear, oh, hey! Pick me back up. Oh, sorry, so sorry. I'll, <laughs> I'll wave, but like you do, like a homeless person is trying to like talk to you, you just kind of like wave him off, like, yeah, okay, whatever, get away from me. Yeah. <laughs> he's just going to continue to... I don't even know where he's going. He's just going to go... Is there another bar in town? Uh, um, this one is the only one. He's gonna walk up to the to the the man who was looking at him because he thinks he might be might might want to be friends. Okay. Hello, Mister. Uh, I don't actually know. No, what you don't. You, you shouldn't. Are. You shouldn't know my name. I don't know. I I don't know what I don't. No, no, no. It's not. I, I of course don't know your name. I don't know what you are. I don't. I don't. He like, I don't seemed, know what you he are either, like, so. He's like cocking his head and like looking up at you like. Huh. Well, uh, how are you today? I am. I'm fine. How How are you? Good. My stick is kind of an asshole, but I am. I am overall. You're, I am good. I'm sorry. Your stick. Yes, this one. He's like holds it up to you, like holding it, like yeah, this one. He's kind of an asshole. All right. Um, do you want something? Are you asking for money or? No, I, I just you waved, so I thought you wanted to be friends. Oh no, that's. I mean, maybe things work differently up here, but waving, you, you know, it's not. I don't it's actually know how things work up thing here. Things, do. uh. Things, uh, I don't, I'm not from here, if you can't tell. Neither am I, so. Oh, well, we could be, we have something in common. We can be friends with that, then. Yeah, what no. are you looking for, Mr., uh, what was, uh, your name? I'm gonna look around and look for, like, the nearest object around me that I can tell my name is. I, like, kind of trope thing. Okay, um, you see, um... A couple stools and um, some guards leaning against them. Um, there's a trough for like feeding horses. Um, a couple buildings, like some walls. Um, normal, like. Uh, um, my my name is Trough. Trough Whoa, guard. Did, uh... Trough guard. And yours? Do I believe him that his name is Trough guard? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're. <laughs> I'm an idiot, so probably, yeah, I fully know that. I mean, with an 18 wisdom check, I, I guess he can... He, a little sus. A little sus, but I don't I don't disbelieve him. Well, it's yeah. nice to meet you, Mr. Trofgar. I am beep a beep. He puts his hand up, like, almost vertical to you to shake. Nice to meet you, beep. Well, I'll reach down and shake your hand. Kiara, as you're walking back towards your house, you are weaving your way in and out of the guards. Um... Trying to stay out of their way. Walking um, down the street, trying to make my way to back to your I'll probably your... head to the tavern for a moment. Okay. Um, you see these two in the middle of the street, this um dark elf and this little fucking frog shaking hands while the frog waves his stick back and forth. <laughs> 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 I, 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 
as I'm walking by, I'm just gonna give a little, you know, kind of wrinkle my brow, give him a, a, a quizzical look, but I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. He sees that and goes, Why, hello! How are you today? He's like waving the stick. He's, he's shaking hands with no with uh trough. And hello. uh then the stick hand he waves at did you waves at you because hello. Hello. It is a great day, huh? It, it's it's been an interesting morning so far. I can uh, imagine. I, yeah. What is what is your name? This is Trough, if you haven't met him, this trough. I am beep a beep. Uh, my other hand's on my forehead. Trough? Nice. Yes. While you're you? while you're talking to, to him, behind Trough, you see two guards and a trough on the ground. <laughs> so I'm gonna give <laughs> and, trough and my a hand, look my like, hand is in my like, the, like my hand he's is literally like my forehead. Like, oh my yeah, yeah. like oh my god. <laughs> Actually palm. while we're here, um and you guys are on the same spot, can you describe what your characters look like for everyone? Uh, we'll start with you, Novar. Okay, so I am a drow. Um, I am in a darker clothing, a black long coat. Um, some white and purple decorated. Long white hair, classic drow look. Uh, blue eyes. Um, and I'm wearing a really large sun hat. <laughs> All right. Uh, bip, 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 bip. I am a two foot tall green literally like what the picture kind of shows in, on well, chat this is i know but. not only for the visual it's also for the podcast I audio okay. i'm looking uh but he's green yellow eyes looks like a frog has a big like floppy purple hat with a stick with like a weird dingus bulbous thing at the end of it uh in like a, a little long coat and some like pants and a shirt so we and, both have comically dumb large hats yeah yes. like okay. well for him it's like the same kind of hat that you have on, but he's two and a half feet tall. Yeah. So it looks ridiculous on him. You guys right. are like a couple old ladies out shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. And then Kiara? Kiara is an, an elf. Um, you know, average height. Long red hair, light blue eyes. Some freckles on my nose and my cheeks. I'm wearing just some basic, you know, pants and a cloak and a leather vest. And I have a quarter staff and a scarf around my neck and my leather bag full of all my herbs and bottles of potions and things. Nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see them as Bips the Bip starts talking to you. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's a very interesting stick you have there, Bibip. Yes, he he is an asshole, so be aware of that. He, he's not very nice, but he... Are you saying he, your stick talks? Yes, he does. At least at least down there to me, he does. You know, I talk to my stick sometimes, too. You have a stick, too? Yeah, this big old staff here I'm holding. Oh! Like, it's about it doesn't, like she went just taller than me, but I'm holding it. You know, it it doesn't it doesn't glow like Chipper does. This is Chipper, by the way. I didn't say that before. Oh, hello, Chipper. I do an Arcana check on the stick. Yeah, uh, go for it. Okay, I don't know if that. Uh, As far as, uh, yeah, you, it's a stick to you. <laughs> it's just a stick. It's just a stick. stick, stick but it's like stick, stick, a fruit, basically, like an old fruit on the top of it. Yeah, like it's like fused uh, into the stick, like the yeah. fruit. Like it's old and crusty and fused into the stick, but glows a little bit. Yeah, it okay. does glow a little bit. So the stick's unusual, but with that Arcana check, it's not magical. No. And it's definitely not talking to him. You know, I'm curious. <laughs> I, I, I'd, I'd like to check it, too, to see. Sure. Okay. With a 20 total? Yeah. Um, you get the sense of some sort of consciousness um, magically locked in the stick. 
Would you like to say hello to Chipper, Miss Kiara? Hello, Chipper. Don't be How rude, Chipper. Say hello. Silence in response. Nah, he, he, see, like I said, he is an asshole. And just in your head, Bip, you say, I'm not an asshole. I am a stick. Well, if you two are done talking with your sticks, I am yes, yes. going to be going on my way. And I will go and walk towards the door of the tavern. Okay. okay. Are you um, looking for friends, Miss Kiara? I bip a bip needs friends. You know, having friends never hurts. I left all of mine back home. Oh, where's that? I, as you can tell, I am not from around here. I am from the West Swamp Woods. Oh. Yes, I have a big family. I have a big family too, but oh. we're, we're from here. We're not from, from the Swamp Woods. Oh, you are from here. You you can tell, uh, you can maybe help Bip Bip on his, his quest. Po possibly. What what What's your quest? He's like, like waving for you to like bend, like bend over so he can like whisper into your ear. Okay, I'm I'm leaning down. Beep 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 is on a quest because he needs to find true love. Oh, I say as I stand back up pretty quickly. Yes, that's Indeed. a very noble quest. Yes, he. Beep Beep Beep's mom told him that he is a long lost prince and only with true love's kiss will I claim destiny or something wow. like that. I don't I don't quite remember. But that is what I was told. Interesting. Yes, oh, it I, it's, I, it also it doesn't help that I've that uh, works out for you. I, I know you wouldn't know anybody who is in search of love. Um, not off the top of my head. Uh, the stick you know, in your head goes. It's because you're a frog. No one's gonna love a frog. Shut the fuck hey. up. Hey. Oh. <laughs> you don't hear it, Jackie. You Your chick does not hear it. No, it'd be funny if eventually I did. <laughs> you just hear him yell, shut the fuck up at the stick. Excuse sorry. me? Sorry. No, no, sorry. I'm talking to Ch Chipper was being an asshole again. Sorry. So sorry. He talks uh, to you? Yes, he does. Like I said, he's an asshole. He likes to I refute that he's an asshole, just saying he's a stick, but he can be a stick and an asshole. Don't you agree? Anybody can be an asshole. See, he like says that to the stick. <laughs> I'm not an asshole. <laughs> you don't shut up, I will put you in one. Um. Anyway, if you, I'll be in town for like the next few days. So if you know somebody who is looking for love, send them beep a beep's way. Have you talked to Gwen in the tavern? Yeah, she said no. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I get the feeling that she doesn't like frogs. I don't know if it'd be that so much. She kind of has a thing for really, really big guys. He just like looks down at himself, looks up. No offense um, to you, of course. I'm sorry. See, I, you are. I am. I am big for my kind. Mm -hmm. My older brother is only two feet tall. I'm two and a half. Oh, well, there you go. I'm the, the biggest one in my family. Sure, you know. There's but one, one out matters. there for everybody. What What are you? What, what were you? You seemed like you were in a hurry and I stopped you. Is there anything Bip -a Bip can help you with? Oh, I'm just um heading to my, my mother's. Apothecary shop. Oh, I was just gathering supplies. That sounds delightful. Can Bip Bip follow? Sure. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys head off. Navar, Navar, you enter the early B tavern. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll uh, take a seat up at the bar. Yep. Um, Gwen, the barkeep, 
um, approaches you a moment later. Hey, can I can I get you anything? Yeah, I'll take um whatever whiskey you have on uh, the rocks, please. Oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah. She pours you a a two finger pour. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, what, what, what? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, go for it. She like kind of like puts her elbow down on the counter and like leans towards you. Do a lot of people talk to their sticks around here? You met the frog, did you? Yes. Yeah, he's the only one I've seen like that. I, there was a woman with him too. Oh, elf woman? Yes. Yeah, um, she's not like the frog. More normal. Okay. Not fully normal, but more normal. More more normal than the frog. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And then I will take a sip of my whiskey, and then I will start looking at the trying to look at the ring a bit more, and I might try to put it on my finger and see if it does anything. Okay. Um, you put it on your finger, and you can kind of feel it tingle as you put it on. Um, but you can't tell if it's doing much more than just tingling and the skin around it kind of fades to more of like a gray than like your your normal skin color like you like the the pigment that is there fades away around the ring for like about an inch on either side half inch on either side does it hurt at all or just tingles? doesn't hurt it's not painful i'll leave it on and see what happens okay sounds good um Gwen is still at you. So, what are you, what are you in town for? Um, I'm just a traveler looking for magical items and artifacts. Just come following the army? Sort of. They they tend to pick up a lot of that kind of stuff. Pick up's a nice word for it, yeah. Um, yeah, you will, yeah. yeah. And much nicer word than most words for it, but... Mm. Yeah. Well, I will let you enjoy your drink. Let me know if anything else. Alright. Well. All right. How, how, um, much, how much does the drink? She does not charge you for it. No. Yeah. She walks away before you. Like as you're like asking, like how? Oh, and she just kind of like walks away and just gives you a little smile. Bow chicka bow wow. Um. <laughs> you two approach. Um. Kiara's family is a apothecary shop. Um, it's a smaller building um, with like the storefront up front, and like the house is attached to the rear of it. Um, it's close to the center of the town square, um, you guys enter. Uh, your mom is sitting behind the counter. Oh, you're you're back. Did you bring anything for me? Yeah, I, I got quite a bit of things actually. Kalia stayed behind. She said she was going to try to gather a few more things. Awesome. That, I'm kind of distracted by something, though. I mean, we all probably are these days, right? Yeah. It's not the small, quiet town we're used to. It's a little out of character for her. But I did. I ran into a soldier in the woods, and they said there was a decree this morning. Oh? Yeah, they said we're not allowed in the woods. Really? Because of attacks by some other empire or something. I haven't heard of the coalition attacking this close. I mean, further out in the woods, sure. Neither but... have I. I spend half. I spend practically all my time in those woods, and I haven't seen anything like that that I can recall. Well, hopefully, your sister's able to make it back without too much of a trouble. Yeah. What's this? She finally notices Bip, oh. Bip, Bip, Bip next to you. What is that? Um. Did you get a pet? No, mother. <laughs> this totally is oblivious. A He's just sitting there waving. That I ran into you on the way here. This is Bibip. Is this Bibip. like your stick? Huh? Is this like your your staff? No, I have a stick though. He is an asshole. She just kind of sighs. You're not supposed to bring random animals back from the woods. We've been over this. I didn't. He's not a random animal, Mom. He's actually another another race from the, the western swamp. You brought a swamp animal into our house? Nice. 
I am from this swamp. That, that doesn't mean I am this swamp. I didn't say... And he talks to a stick, but, you know, we all have our eccentricities. Your mom's, like, rubbing the bridge of her nose, just like, <laughs> I don't have time for this right now. Bit, bit of... Hi. Hello. I I am I am Beep Beep. How are you? Confused. I am also confused. Life is just a big confusing mess, isn't it? Boy, is it ever. I mean, it was pretty normal until a fucking frog walked into my house and started talking oh. to me. Yeah, okay. well, I get that a lot. I'm just stressed, honey. I'm just much nicer than this, I swear. I'm just, just stressed. My mom is kind of mean sometimes too. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, especially after I burned down the school for the third time. She wasn't very happy about that. Oh. Uh, were the twins giving you trouble again this morning? No, I got them up and they said that they're going to go out and, you know, do the normal. They're probably already at the tavern. Let's be honest. Like... <sighs> You know, I know music is their passion, but I wish they would just, you know, do something a little more practical. I mean, at least they're not killing people, right? True. Like, Corfell. Yeah. I, I lean <sighs> towards, towards, uh, Bip Bip and say that, that's my older brother. He decided to join the army. We're not oh. that happy about it. Oh, see, kind of like when my dad left to save the world or something. My mom wasn't too happy about it either. Yeah. Have you heard from your brother recently? Um, I got a letter from him last week. Seems to did be he doing okay. Did he say anything unusual or anything? No. He was just, you know, kind of vague, but seem to be okay okay let us know if you hear anything unusual oh, from him absolutely your dad got kind of a cryptic note that we thinks from him but really wasn't signed so we're not yeah that's odd it's probably nothing really to worry about hopefully yeah hopefully it's it's just the wrong address or something or I yeah, really know. Like, well, yeah. here's some, um, here's plenty of supplies for a little while. Awesome, thank you. She starts like organize it and yeah, load, load right back onto the counter. Yeah, she starts spreading it out and getting like the um the process going to like refine it and make it more um potent and helpful mm -hmm. to get to a cell state. Um, I'm just gonna be doing this the rest of the day. If you wanna. Go off and do whatever you want to do. Maybe keep the twins out of trouble or yeah, maybe make sure I'll your go sister's ahead, all right. Head over to the the tavern and see what the boys are up to. And then yeah. All right. Well, boys let me know if you hear anything. Boys. They act like children. I know. <laughs> all right. I'll, but, I'll go keep an eye on them for a little bit. Sweet. All right. Thank you. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you. Bip. Bip, bip. Bip, bip. Great, great to meet you too. Yeah, and it bip, bip a bip. And like I said, bip, this bip. is this is chipper. Please don't put your stick anywhere near my daughter. <laughs> he like holds. He like doesn't understand the like. So he just like holds the stick farther away from her, just like arm's length away when before it was close to his side. He just goes and do. <laughs> he just like holds it like straight out, straight out. All right, you guys have a good one. Your mom kind of looks at you like, what the fuck? Are you, like, who do you surround yourself with? <laughs> I just shrug, like, you know, my hands up in the air. <sighs> is, the, is there any reason why I can't put my stick near you? Is that is there a problem? No, it... it she she didn't mean your... It, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but just, just, I, if I... If, if Bip Bip offended, I need to know. I have to... <laughs> No. What, 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 if she wasn't talking about it, what did she mean by stick? <laughs> um. Anyways, we cut to the break, tavern. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 
not going to discuss the birds and the bees with the frog. <laughs> um, with anyone. But... <laughs> Navar, have you done anything at the tavern this time, or um, you still just drinking when they no, arrive? No, I'm just drinking, observing. Okay. Um, people watching, seeing if there's anything yeah. interesting going on. There's a lot of um, people just coming and going. Um, nothing really unusual. Um, nothing like stands out to you okay. while you're there until the redhead and the frog return. <laughs> I, I just turn back to, towards the bar. <laughs> Perfect. I um, nudge Bibip. Hey, Bibip, there's your uh, tall friend with the big hat at the bar. Oh, Trough! He like just like waddles in and opens the door. Hello, Mr. Trough. How you are drinking? Yes, I am drinking. He's gonna like climb up on the stool next to you, and he's gonna like wave for Kiara to come in. Like, come on. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna you know sit up at the bar. One walks over. Hey, hey Kiara, I haven't seen the twins today. Um, really? That's probably yeah. a good thing. I mean, they bring business. Yeah. Some entertainment. But yeah, they haven't been in today. You drinking yourself or? Yeah, just uh, just give me a pint. All right, she fills up a beer and hands it to you. Thank Frog. You. Uh can I get the the glass that I had last night? The one that tasted like swamp water. Yeah. Oh, did I give you the fizzy one last night or the uh, the chunky one? The, the fizzy one gives me gas, so the chunky one, please. Okay. Um, she walks out the back door, and a few minutes later, you hear someone pouring some water and some stirring, and she comes back and brings back this um, cup full of what looks like possibly, quite possibly shit, but maybe dirt. Not quite sure. Doesn't smell great um, with some water in it and sets it down in front of you. What that looks absolutely make? vile. It reminds Beep a Beep of home. Is that a problem? <laughs> no. Absolutely Good. not a problem. Do you live in an outhouse? I am from the West Swamp Woods, and the water tastes like home water. It's like, it's like from the well at home. Swamp, swamps are... Uh... Very watery places, right? Yes. Yeah. And there's lots of trees and birds. There was a dog named Buttercup there, too. She Aww. died, though. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, this water is definitely the, the reminds Bip of Bip of home. The best swamp water I have had, not in the West Swamp Wood. Uh, Gwyneth <laughs> leans to the two of you. That's not the frog. She's like, it's from the fucking outhouse. I don't know why he fucking drinks it. Oh, Gwen, like it's from the come outhouse. on. I cannot. That is not. He drank like four glasses last night. How long has he been around here? Uh, Matt, how long have you been in the area for? Like a day. A day, <laughs> yeah. He got here like midday yesterday. He just showed up yesterday. I, he rented a room. I don't fucking know. Seems to be a nice think... enough. Fellow. He keeps talking to his stick. This is going on right next to you, by the he way. He does keep talking <laughs> to his stick. He just, he's just drinking the thing, totally not giving he a seems shit. Lost in his own little <laughs> world he, there. He, I think. he doesn't realize, like, understand that that she's talking shit about him. So he's just like, oh, they're, my friends are talking about me. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's kind of what his impression of the world is going on right now. Yeah, but I realize she's talking shit literally. Yeah. <laughs> Carol, why did you walk in with him? I... That might be kind of my bad. I kind of ditched him on her. Did he call you Trough? Like the thing yeah, for horses? Yeah, I didn't want to tell him my actual name. I didn't know that's who fair. he was. And... Wait, your name isn't Trough? Yeah, I get the impression that's not it. No, that's... my name my name is Novara. Oh! It's good to meet you. He holds out his hand. Oh, I don't he need to shake up. your hand after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You keep it, your... 
water. He just he just like does like the the frog thing where like one eye blinks and then the other eye like blinks and they both like open at separate times and it makes that kind of sound as he like I... looks at you <laughs> with his I hands bet still up. Could make you a tastier drink. Oh, I I love. But also I love... not be full of possible diseases. I think anyone could make a better drink than that. Uh, Gwen, can you <laughs> give me some sparkling water? <laughs> bip bip would love to try. Yeah. Uh, no, no, not sparkling. Not sparkling. He pushes the glass away. It's just, just water. And it's just, just like water. Okay. She fills a glass of water and hands it to you. Here you, here you go. What's you? Out of my bag, I take out like a little uh, vial of like a, a, a green liquid, it's just like herbs and stuff, and, and pour it into the water. Kind of. Give it a little stir with my finger, and then and then pass it across to bip bip bip. Here, give that a try. <laughs> he takes it. He goes. He smells it. Goes, hmm. He takes a sip. This. Why is it spicy? Because <laughs> it's, it's 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 good. Some, but, uh, it's spicy. It's mint. Mint is not really spicy, oh, but you know what? To a frog, maybe it is. I'm sorry. It it's good, but oh, it burned <laughs> it burned bip, 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 tongue a little. Oh. It it's spicy. Must have added a little too much. No, it it it's okay. I can I can keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> he like puts the glass down and is like fanning his like long frog tongue like. <laughs> <laughs> it's spicy. Oh, there's the sinuses, though. It, uh, it, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll I'll drink it a little slower. Okay, it, it is. Yeah, maybe good, little though. sips between your other beverage there that you enjoy. That's an so idea. He <laughs> like pull, pulls the other glass towards him, takes a sip of yours, then takes a sip of the other one, and goes. Perfect. <laughs> When while uh, watching whatever the fuck that is, um, I thought if nothing else, it'd give him fresher breath after that. We can only hope. Uh, he's like a about... nice enough guy. I don't know why everybody's weird. I mean, it's a frog, not a guy. That's it's just guy the first. Frog. That's the first thing he's talking to a stick like it's a person. Yeah, that's also weird. Anyway. Kiara, did you hear about the decree? The decree. Yeah, I heard it from a soldier while I was in the forest. It's gonna make it extra difficult for your family, isn't it? Kind of, but you know, I spent a few years in those woods by myself. I think I could figure out how to get in and out without anybody noticing. Well, they locked up someone last night for. Sneaking out, so just be careful out there, all right? Sneaking out. Yeah. It was lit out this morning, luckily, but yeah, the someone. How are we out. supposed to follow our trade routes or, you know, visit? Well, you're allowed to go west, you just can't go east into the woods. I haven't seen anything strange in those woods. I haven't either, but the soldiers keep telling us stories of. How ruthless they are, and yeah, how many other? Think that they're full of shit. I mean, I haven't seen anyone come back hurt yet, but I mean, they are going further west or east than we do. So I lean towards her. Actually, while I was coming back, a soldier I ran into, they had a. It, there was a, a, a man on the ground, all bloody and beaten up, like almost dead and he was wearing a different uniform uh, how how close to town like just at the edge of the forest oh i wonder how he got so close i don't know well, maybe they are into something we shouldn't go into the woods if they're that close where they're catching them yeah maybe have you seen my sister? 
at all? Uh, she came in this morning for a quick drink before going out to gather some resources, but I haven't yeah. seen her since. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for her, though, if she comes by. Thanks. Yeah. I'm going to go back to drinking my beer. Okay. I'll take another whiskey. Lost you got it. She refills your whiskey cup or your glass. Nods to you, walks away. Leaving you got the three of you alone at the bar. There's other people in the bar, but like you guys are like in your own little space. Yeah. yeah. Was my finger changed at all? Uh it's still just that little section that is slightly discolored. Um otherwise it's all normal. Okay. That's an yep. interesting ring you got there. Oh, yeah, I just bought it. Hmm? Still trying to figure out what it does. I um noticeably I had I do have two other rings. I have one that's like a amethyst, glowing amethyst. It's kind of lightly glows, and then just a wedding band ring. Ooh. Just so, uh, Nolvar, right? Or, yeah, yeah, yes. no, no, it is Nolvar. Trothgard was my quick thinking. I mean, kind of clever. Yeah, well, no. he figured out Last my name second. in the end anyway. <laughs> what brings you to Sese anyway? I'm looking for magical artifacts like this ring here. Mm. Just a collector of magical things? Yeah. Collector, learner, that sort of thing. Do you happen to know anything about magic and magical items or anything like that? Maybe a little bit. Do I? Uh, <laughs> are you asking me, Jackie? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you'd have like no specialty in it, but like you would know like well, that they exist. My dad's a professor. Yeah, like your family would have some like wizard. minor magical things, but like so you know nothing too crazy. Yeah. So like, you you definitely know of them. Um, and your family has like some super minor ones. Um, mostly like of convenience, not like so much usefulness. Like you know, like um, nothing that a collector might actually want to procure. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> While you guys are sitting there, you hear um, the sound of soldiers marching in the street across, like outside, like the like the consistent stomp of feet, like marching in line, as um, a bunch of soldiers walk in ranks towards the center of town. I don't know, it's pretty normal though. Uh there's normally like patrols, but not like ranks marching through the city. I wonder what that's all about. They are quite loud. If you don't know why they have to be so noisy. Um you guys can see through the um like the windows at the front of the tavern as like across the view it's lines and lines and lines of um soldiers returning from the woods um and in the middle between the lines they are carrying wounded and injured um a lot of these men have or these soldiers have cuts scrapes um arms slung up um just look like they just got their absolute ass handed to them i better get going and see if they need any help. My mom's probably already out that way. Bip 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 can can will come and help too. Whatever I, you um, need, new friend. Don't think you should. I don't think you'll be much help. I think maybe you might be better off here. Yeah, why don't you oh, get another? I, not shit that your help water. would be valued. These soldiers are a little bit more assholes than your stick here, so I think. Why, yeah, why don't you? Why don't you just refill your water there? Yeah, 
No, only only one a day. Two will make me uh, burpy. <laughs> Wouldn't want that. Do you like oh. whiskey? I've never had whiskey. This will be good. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, I would love to stay around and see this, but I need to go, gentlemen. Have a good day. You too. I'll see you later, Miss Kiara. Hey, well, I'll Bye. show over. I'll show over the barkeep. All right, we will pause there for a brief moment, take a short five, ten minute break, and then we will be right back with whatever the hell's going on. Break time! Break time! Break time! Break time! Woo!
And we're back. Hello. Welcome back, everyone. Yes, you Our are. short break. Back. Got a good wee in, I hope. Yes, it was fantastic. <laughs> All right. Uh, where we left off, um, Kira, you were heading to your parents' apothecary shop, um, and Novara was about to get bit, 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 some whiskey. So yep. we will pick up with the whiskey side and then jump to Kiara shortly. Barkeep. Yeah. Uh, can I um, get for you? If you could please get my friend here some uh, whiskey. Just to stay alive and drinking. Oh, okay. Yeah, she grabs it and pours uh, like a finger pour into it <laughs> and hands it to Vip. He's going to pick up the glass. I'm assuming like is it like a normal, like what kind of, like, I'm assuming it's a normal whiskey glass. Yeah. It's like a, ro a rocks glass. Okay. Yeah. So he's yeah. going to take, he's gonna take it. He's going to like look at it. We'll look at uh, Novar, look back at it and goes, why does it look like pee? Does pee look like that? It, uh, it's, it's not pee. You, you need to drink more water if that's what your pee looks like. Yeah, that's. That's rough. Well, I guess with what you drink, uh, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> it's just like staring at her, like blinking, like doesn't 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 acknowledge that, like doesn't realize he's being insulted. <laughs> he just sticks like, like you drink mean. shit. You don't drink at all, sticks. Come on, try some. I'll, I'll, I'll like ting your glass. I'll take a sip of mine. Uh, oh, he, like looks at the the glass, looks back at you. A am I supposed to? Oh, he just like takes a sip, uh, and uh, is just like his eyes get like less focused. And he gets like a little more bleary eyed. He's just like, what? Did you say something? I no. Ooh. <laughs> he's he's like leaning to like the right, like away from you, like oh. It hit him like a truck. Like instantly. <laughs> My God. It is a uh, weird feeling. Bip a bip don't don't know what the whoa. He sets like, the, the rest of it like on the counter before he drops the glass and just like holds his stick and it's like swaying. All right, Kiara, you uh, approach your parents' apothecary shop. Um, there is a line of soldiers in front of it um, trying to get in. Okay, I'm just going to make my way past them. Excuse me, need to get inside. I work here. As you push your way through, they all kind of glare at you like uh, and grumble, but like, they don't try and stop you from getting in. Sorry, you get in. I finally get through the door. Your mom's working and your dad's like running to get supplies to like help her, you know, get people checked out as quickly as possible. Um, they both kind of like nod acknowledgement to you, but are too busy to say anything right now as they're talking yeah. to customers. Um, I'll just head in the back and start making shit. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, won't make you roll anything for that. You're just, you've done this enough times that you can just pretty quickly whip stuff together as needed. It's like basic healing potions and things like that. Yep. Yeah. You're, you know, quickly make those and hand those up to your mom as they work and she works and your dad and they both like give you smiles of like, oh, you're so, you're, you're something kind. Like, thank you for helping us. Um, I your sister's mom. not here and your twins aren't, the twins aren't here. Mm -hmm. Um, but you, you do that for a while. Um, eventually, after like 30 minutes, the line starts to wind down um, and calms down again. It's like the initial rush is passed and your mom comes back. Or no, your dad comes back and is like, eh, thanks for helping us out there. Oh, yeah. I mean, that is a fucking rush. What I do. Yeah, we appreciate it. Have Hello. you seen your sister? She's supposed to be back by now. No, she was supposed to be right behind me this morning but no one's seen her yet no we haven't seen her here hmm. probably should go look for her maybe you could take your f frog friend with a stick to look maybe 
You'd be good bait at minimum. The strap. Hey, very nice. You guys give him a lot of shit, but you know, he's just a new person in town. Seems it's very young. It's a frog. But, I mean, if you could find her, your sister, that would be... She's, you know, her, but, like, she should be back yeah, by now. I to wander, but she's not, like... I mean, she, she's a responsible just busy wanderer. looking at her books and stuff and studying for her tests and going yeah. to look for supplies. Has she been making eyes at that one soldier again? Maybe. I haven't heard about him for a while, but I mean, I wouldn't put it past her. I saw her eyeball on one last week. They kept looking at each other. Well, maybe she's off with him. Hopefully that's all it is. It's not something more sinister. Yeah. If you could find her, I'm, that would be a great relief off your mother and my shoulders. Mm-hmm. No least, problem. Yeah. I'm just going to go up to my room and grab a couple of things. Yeah. Sounds good. Go up uh, to my room. Open yeah. a chest I have under my bed. All your new magazines fall out. <laughs> no, they're not uh, magazines. They're just hand drawn sketches. Oh. And maybe some fan fiction. But anyway. Describe um, this fan fiction. <laughs> I take out a couple of daggers I have inside the case. Okay. Put them on right. the sheaths on my pant legs. Kind of hidden yep. under my cloak. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little vial of some not so healing stuff and my staff, and I head head out. Okay. Um, heading back towards your friends, or not necessarily friends, but to the tavern to meet up again, or yeah, why headed? the hell not? Okay. Um, what are you two fuckers doing in the tavern? Well. When she I, I'm just watching him and like giggling so, to myself. So, Mr. No, is it Trough or Nulvar? No, I don't even know anymore. Uh, Nulvar. Mr. Nulvar. Mr. Nulvar. Uh, have you ever found love? Y yes, I have. Uh, tr true love? Oh, I don't know about how true or what have you. I don't know if it was a lying. Are you okay? Beep beep is uh okay, but uh, beep beep is on a quest. You see, <laughs> the quest for true love. A quest. So who gave you this quest? It was my mother. So, so your mother yes. told you to go find true love here? No, just. That the that place that wasn't home. I assume home is where all the other um, frog see, men are. See, so. see, though, she told me that I am a long lost prince of a long lost kingdom, and if I find true love, I will. It'll awaken my destiny. Something like that. She told me once. But don't you think it would be easier to find true love among uh, your own kind? But see, she said that I am really not grung. I am person turned into grung. And true love For, first like, kiss will fix like, like, grung. Uh, will like fix human them. or? She did not say. I heard, I'd imagine so. Person. Correct. So you do. You, so you turn back into this person. Yes, I will. It'll be my destiny. She have, said. Have you heard of fairy tales? What is that? I've, have you read books before? What is book? It's, it's this. Yeah, I'll I'll pull out like one of my spell books. It's like this, but it's full of. A, it has a story. 
or stories in it. Where where did you get one that isn't soggy? I uh, I keep it. I on only I only ever. Stores. You've been to a bookstore? No. Oh, they don't sell soggy books there usually. Oh, all the ones that I've ever seen have been soggy. That's why I usually just write in mud. It these, holds a lot better. These swamps don't sound really appearing, appealing. Oh, the home is great once you get past all the blood flies and the, the crocodiles and, uh, you know, all, all of that. Once you get past all of that, that's great. The water is way better than it is here. Just saying. Mm, I, okay. I will believe that, I guess. I don't think I'm going to try any water from either, so. Oh, Water is good for you. I I need to be in water for parts of the day. Otherwise, my skin kind of dries out and I get really tired. Have you been in water today? Not 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 yet. I was in last night. But you have to you have to you have to be in water. How long would you say per per day? Like whenever my skin feels less dry and crackly. Oh, you are at this frame. point. You walk into the bar, or back into the the tavern. I'm just, I'm just, you know, casually walking up and and picking up on bits of this conversation. Well, it, Bip Bip sees you and does the way like the he like sticks his one arm like straight up in the air, and is just like moving his elbow, like waving. <laughs> you know, just flopping it back and forth, like oh hello. Ooh. You're back from your parents' apothecary shop? Uh-huh. It's a big old rush with the soldiers coming in and oh. healing, is healing that like, potions themselves. Is, oh, things. you make healing potions? Mm-hmm. Bip, bip, bip gets hurt a lot, so he might need to see them because he kind of hurts himself, you know, oh. a lot. Yeah, On do you purpose? need anything? You no, know? I, uh, not, I don't need anything right now, but I, uh, to the on purpose thing, no, it's kind of a side effect of magic. You're magical, you say? Yes. Ooh, what kind of magic do you do? One like this, he's going to shoot a fireball to the other side of the oh. room. <laughs> You reach out and launch a firebolt on the side of the bar and it hits the wood and smolders for a second before going out as Glenn, Glenn, or... I'm helping her pat it out. Yeah. <laughs> banging the... What the fuck? Maybe keep the fire outdoors. Oh. Yeah. It, is, is places here flammable? Like That's, schoolhouse? Yeah, yes. They Let's are. not to throw fire around. I'm not used to places being flammable. It's uh, so so sorry. I'm not very used to it either. It's alright. Are you a wizard? I don't know what that is. It's what I am. I'm a wizard. Oh, study magic. Do you study oh. magic too? Do you? I don't think no, you do. No, I just kind of that. So you have innate magical abilities. He like just like you nods woke his up head, and like, it's just there. Yeah, it's what burned down schoolhouse. Oh, so you did burn somewhere down. Yeah, the schoolhouse was apparently flammable. It wasn't <laughs> Bip and Bip's fault, but uh, yeah, mom wasn't happy when she got that letter. Mm -hmm. And she sent you away. She sent me on, the, on your on your quest. She right sent you to that, find. Imagine, yeah, yeah, right uh, after. Not, not right after it. That was actually not long after I found Chipper. It was like a week or so after I found him that she sent me away. Your, your stick. Yeah, it's Chipper. You don't remember Chipper? I know he's asshole, no, but I it's remember, not nice to forget I remember, his name. I remember, I remember your stick. Oh. You know, one of these days you'll have to tell 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 us how you found that. But um, I actually. At this head. point, the door to the tavern gets kicked open as some soldiers walk in. Everyone to the town square now. But isn't the town circular? I don't know what that means. 
The town okay, center. I'll just follow me. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, okay. Roger that, sir. <laughs> they start kind of like going through the bar, uh, the tavern, and ushering everyone out into the street, and kind of pushes everyone towards the town center, which isn't far away. But like, there's like a like a, a small stage here set up for like events. Um, standing on it is um, like one of the leaders of the army. As you guys get pushed that direction, All right. um, the whole you can tell as you're going there, like. They're going to like door to door, like knocking and telling people to go to the town center. This doesn't look um, good. After a while um, of them gathering people, um, the guy at the center clears his throat. <clears throat> As you guys may have seen today, we had a severe loss on the battlefield, and the coalition. Journey is ever closer to your city here. So in the morning, we're going to go in and take volunteers to start. But if we do not meet our quota for bodies that we need, we will start forcing people to re to join us. So everyone must return to the town square at sunbreak in the morning to volunteer or vol be voluntold to join. And as like he stops, like the everyone in the town square like immediately starts talking to each other, and like the sound like just echoes throughout as everyone like is like a, not like a panic, but like concern, you know, like uh, that kind of thing. Like everyone's just, like whispering and talking to each other, and it's just like the sounds combined to make just like this loud crowd sound. As he then like does like the head nod and steps off the stage, and the um, army kind of like retreats back to their camp at the side of town. What was that? What is what 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 that mean? It means I should be going. That's what that means. Complete bullshit. Going, going, going where? Away from here. Not sure you're going to be able to get away from here. Um. I need to find my sister. Beep a beep will help. You um, beep a beep will help. You know, can I do like a perception check or something to see if maybe she's in the crowd somewhere? Absolutely, yeah. Give me one. Um, disadvantage because of how many people are here. Yeah. Oh, don't matter. <laughs> Nineteen. Um, you're able to get you able to find like a higher point. Um, and like look out over the crowd. Um, and get like a pretty good idea, but you do not see her here. Do you want help with bip a bip? I am very good at finding people. You know what? It couldn't hurt. Okie dokie. Bip a bip will help you. Just tell him where to look. Just, um. I don't also know what she looked like. She looks kind of like me. Just, you know. Mm. Like Miss Kiara. Let's see. Only She's she like has shorter of... hair. Short the hair. Okay. This way. He's just gonna point his finger and walk <laughs> off in a direction. Um. Okay. I'm trying to think here. Um. Like I want to go to the forest, but it's forbidden. So like. Bibi Bib knows can help you go to forest. He's great at distractions. As there is a place in the forest where she might be that my parents aren't exactly aware of. That's supposed to be my secret spot. But little Miss Horny Pants probably went there. What does... What does that mean? My sister also is seeking true love. Oh. Maybe... No. With many people. Oh, that's not true then. It's not, oh. not, not the one true love. There's no good fairy tale tales about that one. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Well, there was Station there was a really story that judgment. about there was a story about the lady with seven friends that stayed at their house. No, not that kind. Oh. Wait, you know that story? Not really. Pip Pip don't remember many things, but he do remember some things. I mean. And the lady okay. with seven with seven small friends is kind of weird. Well, we'll need to uh, leave town square and start heading around the edge of town. Beep, 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 what help? Jim, Where do we go? Quiet. I am, I am incredibly sneaky. Just stay with me. Okay, I somehow doubt that, but we'll see what happens. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're just gonna... Novar, what are you doing? I, I will just follow, because there's not much else to do. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm assuming if we can get into the woods, we can get away from the town and away from this whole... Likely, yeah. Roundup mess. So, uh, make our way to the edge of town. Oh, we sneaking? Yeah, do we have to do? Well, All until right. we get to the actual edge of town, because we're going to have to be we're gonna sneaky to get to the casually, world. Casually stroll through town as casually as an el two elves and a frog can. And an elf with a giant hat, a frog with a giant hat, and me with my bright red hair. Yep. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Subtle group. Mm -hmm. uh we blend yeah. in perfectly. Exactly. Um, you guys are able to reach the edge of town. Um, you notice that they're, the army is around the town, and normally when they're looking out towards the woods, they also now have soldiers looking back towards the town. Seems a little suspicious, doesn't it? Yeah. Like... I don't know. Something just doesn't feel right. Peter Pip agrees. Mostly because he doesn't know what's going on, but he agrees. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you don't know what any. You've been here a day. How long have you been on this continent? Or this island? Been here uh, let's see. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight and a half moons. Moon. Okay, you've been you've been here on this island for that long. Well, I was in the swamp for the, uh, the great the west. The, what the what is it called? Brain. Please the hold. The west swamp woods. The west swamp woods. For most of it, I've only been out here for a few months. That's the far west end of the island. Yes. So um, he's from okay. this island, just, you know, well, continent. I've, picked, I've not been here long, but what I've picked up is there's these two uh, places, right, that control this island, and they don't like each other. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Why can't they be friends? Like us, we're friends. Why can't we be friends? They all be friends. Because men who sit in nice offices and chairs and have money want more, so they fight with each other and make us do the dirty See. work. Yeah, that's why I have Steak. Yeah. But like how are we handy. how are we going to go to forest? Like we need to go. Okay. So mm -hmm. there's a a pathway this way. You know? Okay. okay. Walking. <gasps> Alright. I'm going uh, to need you all to make stealth checks. Yeah. Uh da, da, uh I would like to use my uh tides of chaos to give myself advantage. Okay. And at any point you can make it so that I have to roll, <laughs> that nice. I have to roll on the wild magic table, before I can regain the use of it, Josh. Okay, sounds good. Damn, two nat twenties and a nineteen. You yeah, guys were kind of boss. I don't know. If you know. <laughs> no one noticed you guys leave. Well, these are my woods. Yeah, I should have given you advantage, but <laughs> I mean, if you want, Jackie, if you want to roll again with advantage, see if you can get nat twenty as well. Go for no, it. These are your woods. Okay. No, that's fine. I'll take one. Right. 19 is good. Good enough. Okay. Roger, Pip, Pip, Pip was sneaky. Very sneaky. Okay. Um, you are able to lead them out past the guards into the woods. Um, normally when you're in these woods, right, there's like the sound of like the woods, right? You know, yeah. birds chirping, animals scurrying, oh, um, you know, the oh. normal wood stuff. Crickets. Dead bugs. silent. There's no noises other than like the wind blowing through the leaves. There's no birds. There's no 
crickets. Wow. There's no squirrels <laughs> going up trees. Good. There's a predator somewhere nearby, probably. Oh, oh what? What is a predator? Is that like crocodile? Well, <laughs> usually the forest, even at night, is quite musical. As you would probably know, bibip, bibip, bibip. Yes, the um, swamps, as my mother said, don't shut up. They, yeah, they, they tend to go completely silent if there's threat nearby. So there's something going on. That's a, so there's a crocodile? A crocodile? What, what is that? Cro crocodiles are threats. That's at least what mom told me. Um, we might have... My friend bear. Billy got ate by one, like, a while ago. Sorry. By one of these crocodiles. Yeah. Anyway. It's a... We'll, okay. uh, we'll be able where to is... hear if anyone's following us better anyway. Where so Where is your, uh, as you put it, horn dog spot? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't think that's what she said. Um, I have a, a little cottage that's kind of my um my own personal escape from town. It's about that's right. And your sister away. uses it as horn dog spot. That's what she said. Yeah, she's not supposed to, but you know, always Got telling it. myself. Oh. Anyway, so we'll follow the path that there's some thick, like, okay. like, um, like the, the woods here would be like maybe a little bit like the trees are a little bit more dense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you've, you've wandered these woods many times, you know exactly where to go. Mm -hmm. Um, you lead them right up to your cottage out in the woods. Um, there is a little bit of smoke coming out of the um, chimney. Front door is shut. Um, the blinds are drawn. Windows? The blinds are drawn. You can't see through the windows. No way. Okay, I'm going to sneak up to the window. Okay. To see if I could peek in, because there might be a little gap in the blinds. Sure. Give me a perception check with disadvantage. Oh, boy. Ten. Um... Looking, you already see this little gap in the blind, and looking through, you can see a leg of someone sitting in the chair in front of the fireplace. Is it a clothed leg? Yeah, like you can't <laughs> tell what clothed, but yes, it's not a naked leg. <laughs> Fucking horn dog. <laughs> yeah. just, it is. It is a horn. There, there, it is horn dog spot. I'm just gonna walk out the door. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. You open the door. Um, there is a girl that looks an awful lot like Kiara sitting at the fireplace, um, and she like jumps up and wipes her eyes as you get as you enter. Who are you? I'm with your I'm... sister. Elia, She's it's out fine. Here. What are you doing here? I uh, just needed to get away for a bit. Well, why didn't you tell me earlier? We've been worried sick about you all day. It's only been a couple hours. Are you yeah. the one looking for true love? <laughs> she looks at you and like you can see like her oh bit you probably don't pick up but the other two of you pick up like her eyes quiver as he says that. Oh like she's like holding back tears. I just need to be alone for a bit. Um these two I just met them today. This is Novar and bip bip bip. Hello. Like that was like a sad Hi. wave to you guys. Hi. And bip 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 stick. Yes, this is Chipper. Why does this stick get an introduction? Just he's, a stick. Uh, he's kind of an asshole, but he's still a. You know, stick. it's been a long day. My brain scrambled, not thinking properly. Anyway. Uh, guys, could you wait outside for a minute? Oh yes. Just walk outside. With him. Private sister bonding time. I close so I close the door behind them. 
So what's going on? Uh, he had to go. Army called him away. Oh. I he? told him I'd go with, but what? He, he he told me to stay. I'm sorry. It's fine. I mean, I mean, should have known better. He's a fucking army boy, huh? Yeah, but still, you can't help who you're attracted to. Yeah, I mean, did have a nice dick. Excuse me. What? We're old enough. Yeah, but. I'm sorry. It's just. <laughs> it sucks, you know. I mean, I don't know if I don't think he was the one, but sorry. he's a the one. Yeah. I mean, but I I'm not really one to judge. So you know, I've had my fair share of mistakes in that department. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Just gives you like a knowing nod. We aren't great at picking guys, are we? No, but at least one does. Yours doesn't live in town, and you see on a regular basis. That's true. I mean, yeah, I, I guess that's a good way to look at it. Anyway, so there's been stuff going on. There's like a decree about us not being in the woods. Oh yeah, I heard about that this morning. Yeah, and a bunch of soldiers came in all wounded. A lot of wounded. We were busy most of the day. Did not know that. Sorry, I should have been there for that. It's okay. I understand. And I won't tell Mom and Dad why you were here. Well, the real reason why you were here. What are you going to tell them? Just you needed some time alone. Okay. You know they're going to ask me questions, though. Yeah. But you'll think of something. Suppose I got time, some time. <laughs> if you need to come here, just let me know so we're not, you know. I can make up a better cover story. I understand. Thank you. <laughs> I'll try. Also, the woods are, like, dead silent. Oh, that's really creepy. Yeah. They were normal when I came out here. No, we need to get going back. Okay. Well, I guess we should put out the fire and work our way back. Don't want to burn down your cottage. Thank you. You should really lock the front door next time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I keep forgetting to do that when I leave in a hurry. Oh, you left in a hurry last time? Did I say hurry? Let, let You know what? We're good. Let's just go. <laughs> she gives like a little chuckle and steps outside. Um, as the fire burns out on its own. And you're back in the silent woods. The four few guys out there. Yeah. So now we gotta quietly make our way back to town. Yeah. Alright. The wood's still dead silent. You guys work your way back. I'm going to need another stealth check as you guys try and sneak back at town into town. Right. Oh <laughs> nice. All right, I'll let your nat 20 help out that 18 there, and you're able to guide them um, a sneaky way back in. Uh, no guards spot you. You make it back into town. Um, the town... I'm not used to walking through woods, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, is... Like, there's still people around, but you can tell, like, the news has kind of put, like, a damper on the whole town mood. Um... You can see some people, like, as you walk by them, or hear some people as you walk by them, like, whispering to each other, like, the guards, or the army's watching 
us now too and, and just like kind of like are we allowed like can we leave the town in general like are we allowed to just walk and someone's like i they were watching the west side too no one was, they weren't letting people out if they saw you they sent you back in the town as you walk by that group and you get back to the town square um the town square is mostly cleared out now um apothecary shop is there the, the taverns there what would you guys like to do I think maybe we should see if Gwen's got any gossip for us. Okay. And then to the tavern. Head back to the tavern. The tavern tavern. is fucking packed. Mm -hmm. Everyone's in here. Um, No no army, but like basically like as much of the town that could fit in here is in here. Um, Oh boy. Your your twins still are not. Your sister does excuse herself and just goes to your parents' house. Yeah. Um. But the tavern's packed. Um, everyone's kind of like whispering to themselves. Um, um, Gwen has some helpers helping her out, um, trying to keep up with the crowd. Um, you guys are able to squeeze into like the small circular table um, and able to find a space after a couple minutes of searching. Uh, a few minutes later, she approaches. Oh, you guys are back. Where'd you go? Do the uh, horn dog spot. <laughs> yeah. The what? We, I'm we just, just out. Just, you know. Pretty I was um, showing these guys the town. You know. Oh. Just even the lay of the land. Yeah, yeah. Since we're both new here, we'd, you know, we'd help looking around. Let them yeah. know where everything is, you know. Uh, I mean, it looks like you'll probably be stuck spending a lot of time here. If, like, this keeps up. Yeah, have you heard anything about that? I heard people saying something about how they're keeping eyes on us and they're not letting anybody leave. That's about all I've heard. I one a, a trader, one of my suppliers was heading west to pick up more supplies and they wouldn't even let him leave. It doesn't seem like they're let anyone in anyone in or out unless it's you can amazing. sneak by. But because yeah. if something was coming in the forest here, wouldn't they want us to leave? Uh, Unless there's something on the other side too. Yeah. Maybe there's a the enemy army surrounding the town. Maybe it's under siege. Oh fuck! They didn't tell the my trader. He just there's like you can't leave. Go back. He tried to show him his right to trade papers, and they weren't interested. Just sent him back in the town. So, I mean, if you guys have any more information, that'd be great. But I, I think we're all kind of in the same at a Other loss. It's just very eerie around town. Yeah, I mean, everyone just seems kind of down and seems to try making their own plans of what to do. What are you going to do? It's a wonderful question. She kind of gives like an anxious little sigh laugh. Well, whatever happens, just take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. Hopefully this is just, you know, a short little thing and a month we'll look back on it like, ha, remember that stressful time? That was shitty. Yeah. (laughs) But yeah, you never know. You guys want a drink, I guess? Don't know how long no. I'll have them for, but I mean. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, I'll bring you some stuff. Whatever um, you have the most available is fine. Gotcha. Yeah, she I'll comes back. Too. Okay. Comes back a few minutes later and sets down a couple beer or three beers on the table for you guys. Enjoy. Let me know if you need anything. I'm going to keep my ear down and see if I can learn anything new. Try and let you know if I can. Thanks, Gwen. Yeah, no problem. Stay safe. I'll take the sip of the it's beer. Probably wince, a, probably wince a little bit. It's a decent light beer. I imagine my character is spoiled by uh, 
Dwar- oh like yeah, proper dwarven beer. So he's like, I mean, from what I heard from your backstory, yeah, you've been real spoiled by it. Um, Hanging out with a lot of dwarves. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you just kind of sit there. Um, the sun's now to the point where it's starting to set as evening arrives to the town. Um, there's still normally there's like army walking through, and you know, some guys will swing by the bar, get a drink, get some food. Um, no one, just the normal villagers. Um, no army walking the streets. Um, they're just around the town and in their camp as the night goes on. Um, you guys looking to do anything or just keep drinking and well they said they were gonna try to they were gonna forcibly make people join the army right if they didn't get enough volunteers in the morning yeah so we should probably leave yeah what do you think chipper what do you think we should do i think I'm, i'm just gonna speak for the stick and do like a I think we should go. Hey, I did not say that. Dip, you hear that in your head? That was not me. But I agree. But that wasn't me. Okay, dokie. With the, would we agree? Yeah. Right, so. We could we could hide out in in the spot for a bit. Well, I don't know how how good of a hiding spot. My cottage will be since you know. <sighs> it's your cottage, not mine. It's yeah. your, your, it's your sister's spot and your cottage. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's actually probably not a bad idea. It is hidden away a bit, but for how long? Who knows? But I need to get. I need to get back to my family and see what everybody else there is doing. We can either follow you there or meet you what? where we snuck out before. We could just, you know, get something to eat and have a couple more drinks since we're here. I'm fine with that. Oh yeah, what what is this? He like picks up the glass of something he's never had. What is this? It's That's ale. piss. That's actually piss. This is hey. piss? Why did they... It, what? I why mean, would they it's say? not the finest... The honest, finest piss? What it's, <laughs> it's ale, not actually piss. Although, you know... Sometimes it may as well be. He takes a sip and... Ugh, bit of dip, uh, thinks it might be an acquired taste. Mm-hmm. But it gives as you a good piss, buzz. As, is. as I chug my glass. You can have mine. He <laughs> like slides the glass over to you. As you <laughs> grab hey. his beer, um, you hear the sounds of horns going in the distance, the nearby distance. Oh, Thank you. Um <laughs> you guys have or Kara, you have not heard these before. No one else has either, but you would be aware that like when the army set up here, like they're like these are the siege horns. If these go off, shit's about to go down. Oh shit. Okay. We we need to go now. And that is where we'll leave off for this week. <laughs> With an impending siege. Um Hooray. so thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us in our triumphant return. Yeah, sorry, um, it's a little awkward, but you know, trying to get back into the swing of things. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. We're, we're learning each other in the world and remembering how to fucking play, uh, <laughs> as well as working a new tabletop simulator. So it we're getting fun. back into it. Um, I'm the DM, Josh. I have been joined by um, Pipidip, Matt. Hi, goodbye. Um, Navar, Navar. Hi, bye. Navar. Navar and Kiara. Hi, Jackie, as well as Kiara. I'm yeah. oh, sorry, awkward, <laughs> tired. Thanks. <laughs> bye. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and we will see you on the 25th for the second session. All right, have a good one, everyone. Thank you. Bye.